Today we pick up our Bible study in Romans chapter 16, verses 21 through 24. The Apostle Paul has been preaching the togetherness of the members of the body of Christ, or the church. And in his practicing of what he is preaching, he gives opportunity to make notice of those who have been assisting him in ministry. It is also believed by many that there is another reason for the mention of this list of fellow followers in Christ. And that is because there were many false teachers during that time, and Paul wanted to make sure that the church at Rome was aware of those who were sincere in Christ Jesus and of whom could be trusted as fellow Christians. One person that Paul notes here is Tertius, of whom we are informed has been the scribe for Paul in the writing of this letter to the church at Rome. And making note of those who have been involved in the ministry of the Apostle Paul has also included the blessings of sharing the gospel as is stated in Romans chapter 16, verse 24, as I quote from the New King James Version, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. This is an example of teamwork in Christ Jesus. This is an example of giving recognition to all those who make up our support team. In the secular worldview today is a drive to show everyone what we can do or are capable of accomplishing on our own. A drive to rise above the top as an individual. But this is a very slippery slope as is the same way Lucifer or Satan got himself thrown out of heaven. The Bible teaches us that all we are is given to us by God and that as we put our faith in him, he reveals to us in his timing each step of his plan for our lives, which includes many other people that we may or may not notice along the pathway of life. We as individuals are able to accomplish much throughout our lives, and that is a great thing in the gifts that God gives us. But let's not forget to recognize those who have helped us along the way. In this is sharing the love of God through our reflection of Christ Jesus to all those around us and throughout the world as Jesus teaches us. In John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35, I quote from the Holman Christian Standard Bible, I give you a new command, love one another, just as I have loved you. You must also love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Dear Lord, we are grateful for the gifts that you give us, which allow us to be the people that we are and striving to be the best that we can for you. Please help us always to recognize those around us who have given us support along the way. Please help us to see that when we make the statement or insinuate, look at me, we're making the same statement that Lucifer made in being self-centered and arrogant when he believed that he could thrive without your help and receive glory that is only meant for you, Lord. Please help us to portray the humility of Jesus in our lives that we would truly glorify you through our lives in recognition of our dependence on you as we are truly meant in life to be in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.